You want to know why Hartman is such a moron about nuclear power? Well, yeah, one reason is he's a moron about everything, but look at the kind of person he gets his information from. Right now, Dr. Greg Jaxo is with us. He's the former chairman of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, and he has a new book out. It's called Confessions, excuse me, of a Rogue Nuclear Regulator. So this political hack, this former NRC chair, is now stylizing himself as a rogue when he's just pushing the narrative of his party elite status quo. You write in your book that I know nuclear power is a failed technology. Did you, did you know that when you came into the job? Did you know that when you left the job? Do you now know that in retrospect? Where, when did you come to that conclusion? I really came to that conclusion about partway through the time that I was chairman. Lie, 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 lie! He's always been against nuclear power, and from day one in the NRC, it was clear his agenda was to obstruct it any way he could. And by the way, he doesn't have any expertise in the matter. He has a degree in theoretical physics, but no specialization in nuclear physics or nuclear engineering. There's also nothing in his background that would give him any experience you'd want someone in the NRC to have. Right out of university, he started working for Congressman Ed Markey and became a Senate committee advisor. His entire career was political, not in science or engineering. When I dealt with a very significant nuclear power plant accident in Japan, the Fukushima power plant accident. This guy did nothing to deal with Fukushima. He wasn't even there. And as we'll soon see, he's completely clueless about what happened. It was really at that point that I realized that all the hypothetical discussions about accidents and possible bad things that could go wrong were real. And it just, I just came to realize that 100,000 people being evacuated from their homes was not the right way or the right kind of thing that should happen when you generate electricity. I've already covered this to death, but those evacuations did not need to happen and only caused far more misery health issues, and death than the disaster itself ever could. And that's due to people like Jasco who spew out fear-mongering about nuclear power that isn't even remotely warranted. In fact, as I've covered in the past, the Fukushima accident didn't have to happen at all, and arguably wouldn't if it weren't for ridiculous precautionary principle regulations that were put in place over it. That wasn't the only reason, but it might have been all right but for those regs. And again, I'll point out it's the safest form of power we have. Fear-mongering about nuclear power has hurt and killed far more people than nuclear power itself. So, do you, you know, what's the state of the nuclear industry in the United States? The, you, you mentioned Fukushima. Uh, as I recall, those are called uh, General Electric II, Mark II boiling water reactors. Um, and that there's some, what, 50 or there, thereabouts of those in the United States? The only GE Mark II reactor at Fukushima was Unit 6, which never had anything wrong with it. The meltdowns, which didn't even happen for something like three or four years after the disaster, thanks to the hard work of the plant workers at the time, were in Units 1 and 2, which were GE Mark I reactors, and Unit 3, which was a Toshiba Mark I. You can just look this stuff up, you know. Wow, I say that a lot, don't I? It's practically becoming a catchphrase. Jasco was the lone voice at the NRC for stopping the construction of two new reactors at the Volktel nuclear power plant in Georgia, saying, quote, I cannot support issuing this license as if Fukushima never happened. If he'd had the first clue what he was talking about, he would have known that the new reactors were Generation 3, whereas Fukushima was Generation 1. It's like saying you can't support buying a new Honda because of problems with a Studebaker. The new units at Vogtel, which are still being constructed but have suffered numerous delays, are Westinghouse AP-1000s. By the way, one of the delays was caused by the bankruptcy of Westinghouse, which happened because of bogus political delays in deploying nuclear reactors, adversely affecting their profits. Those AP-1000s, unlike the reactors at Fukushima, have passive safety systems. Even in the worst disaster, even if the plant workers do nothing, the reactor is protected. 
while at the same time being less expensive and more compact, using a fifth of the concrete, which Hartman should like if he really believed the crap he spewed in the last video I debunked, the real experts at the NRC showed that this is orders of magnitude safer than any other plant currently operating in the U.S. To avoid meltdown and keep cooling going, which was the exact problem at Fukushima following the earthquake and tsunami, the AP-1000 uses a gravity-fed system where, if things get too hot, within 30 minutes, the valves melt and pour in the coolant. Even if no one at the plant takes any action. The system doesn't rely on electricity or diesel power or on hydraulic or compressed air systems. It just relies on gravity. If Jasco had any degree of competency, he'd know that. And that's one of the things that really worries me because not only do you have the risks from an accident with nuclear power, but if we really are going to rely on this to solve climate change, we're simply not going to solve climate change. Yeah, this is all crap I've debunked before. See my nuclear power playlist. He even went so far as to say a Chernobyl-style accident could happen at any moment, even though Chernobyl didn't even have containment buildings. So you can go see the rest of his life-filled bloviating for yourself. I just want to tell you more about this Jasco character, so you can see the kind of guy Hartman thinks is oh so wonderful. To the person, every other commissioner at the NRC verified that Jasco continually and strategically withheld information from them to get his way. And this wasn't in any way partisan. The other four commissioners were two Democrats and two Republicans. In October 2011, they all filed a complaint with the White House over his antics. One of the commissioners said that his management was full of, quote, bullying and intimidation that should not and cannot be tolerated. Jasco had very abusive behavior towards his employees, especially the women. Women were complaining that every little irritation was taken out on them. One said she was angry at herself for being brought to tears in front of her male colleagues. Another said she couldn't stop shaking and had to be reassured by a supervisor talking with him until she'd calmed down enough to drive home. A report by the Government Reform and Oversight Committee listed numerous incidents of his, quote, propensity for angry outbursts and aggressive behavior. They called on President Obama to dismiss him. He finally resigned in 2012. Afterward, he was appointed by Senator Harry Reid to oversee the National Nuclear Security Administration. Unbelievable. And now you know the kind of person you're dealing with when you encounter people spewing nuclear misinformation. They do not have the truth on their side, and they know it. So thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe, leave a comment, and go to donate.bogosity.tv to keep me doing what I do. And check out all the great content here, like this video selected just for you.